Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at some games that take full advantage of old school gameplay from the 80s and 90s made with today's standards. Let's take a closer look at retro influences in our games today. I personally loved it when Microsoft brought the Xbox Arcade Live to the 360 ecosystem in 2004. Originally only meant to be priced at $5 to $20 with a max of 50 megabytes per title as the games were meant to fit on a 64 megabyte memory unit, the service started with older titles or small mini games. This idea was lucrative to both Microsoft and developers as the games were all downloaded with no physical copies to ship. Indie developers can now take a chance and be successful without taking a loss in the marketing or sharing the profit with distributors, besides Microsoft, of course. This eliminated trying to find those hard to find older games that you had to pay a fortune for or look for the game's collections like Sega Ages or Museum Hit Classics. Castlevania Symphony of the Night was the game that broke the mold with its perfect port and at only 50 megabytes. As time moved on, the imposed limit became higher as the other media storages were made available like external USB hard drive, a USB flash drive, and internal hard drives that became the norm. This revolution led to more indie games that were not as flashy as AAA titles, but were fun in their own right, bringing new and old gameplay to new or upgraded visuals. It feels like we always see an old school type game title making waves today, but it's thanks to where it all started and how it was made even possible with the Xbox Live Arcade Marketplace. The Mega Man series will always find a place in my heart with run and gun side scrolling adventures. Not many games can even come close to the difficulty, gameplay, precision, and to his frantic chaos on screen. 20XX was developed and released by Battery Staple Games in 2016, and they come close to the simple story, chaos on screen, to its very precise gameplay, will leave you dying many many times and coming back for more. Definitely inspired by Mega Man X, you will shoot or slash your way through waves of enemies that have run out of control to save the earth, letting you memorize paths and using upgrades to get better and stronger allows you to continue your quest almost like an RPG. The Messenger was developed by Sabotage Studios and released by Devolver Digital in 2018. And they bring an action platformer that resembles the Ninja Gaiden series on their original Nintendo. 2D side-scrolling action adventure with the player taking charge of a ninja that embodies the ninja action of the 80s. Easy to pick up and play with many different power-ups will help you get through the levels reimagined with retro 8-bit look and sound that brings you back to the past with tight and responsive gameplay. Hello Knight was developed and released by Team Cherry in 2017 and has become the game of choice for your action adventure RPG exploration and Super Metroid type of game from Nintendo. You will encounter insect like enemies in an ancient kingdom of hollowness. The game is vast with deep storytelling and many different obstacles and exploration to take hold of, although the visuals will lead you to believe that they are simple. But the game is definitely not. 
Be prepared to battle with every inch of your life as the game is punishing but very rewarding as well. One of the best sleeper jams to play as a Super Metroid complement in every way. Tohau Luna Nights was developed and released by Team Ladybug in 2018. This 2D side-scrolling action-adventure brings game mechanics like Super Metroid but with super fast-paced gameplay action. With the visuals and sound bringing you back, the game is unrelenting but rewards you for your skilled gameplay. You are also able to play with a time mechanic which helps you defeat enemies and solve puzzles. With different ways you attack can increase your life and separately your MP, you will need to act fast as the on-screen enemies can and will attack in a frenzy. One of the craziest action-packed adventures I've played in a very long time. Shifting to my favorite beat-em-ups, developed and released by Dotemu, Streets of Rage 4 is a direct sequel to the Sega Genesis classic series of Streets of Rage. Bringing with them new visuals, all the old memorable gang and virtually the same gameplay will leave you in a retro fighting heaven with fantastic presentation. Cherry Hunter, being the sole player of a newer brand of fighting, will also be accompanied by every old character with 4 player local co-op, online co-op, and more back to the basics awesome fighting. Only if the game was a bit longer as it was, can be beaten in one sitting. Still, a fighter I always wanted a sequel for and they did it right in every way. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night was developed by Artplay and released by 505 Games in 2019. This game feels like the successor of sorts to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. With the 2D action RPG on hold with Konami virtually exiting the gaming scene, Bloodstained was the perfect answer. Produced by Koji Igarashi, the game was meant to bring an updated version of the beloved series with so many different ways to upgrade your character with numerous blades and gun attacks, this game has almost everything you ever wanted in a Castlevania game and more. The visuals are outstanding, along with the voice acting and writing being superb. That's it for me on this special episode on new games with old games in mind. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg take us out of here and I will see you next upload.